Today we're here with the 4x4 CNC plasma cutting table and we're going to show you how to make a quick cut. Let's dive into it. First thing you need to know is we have a cut settings chart in the manual that provides a great baseline when you're just getting started cutting. So once you've referenced the cut settings chart, you press F4, come into our setup menu. This has all your plasma specific settings. Pierce time is a big one that you want to make sure is set right. Then you press F1, come to your common. This is mostly your speed adjustment. You want to make sure you got the right speed for the right material thickness. Once you're done adjusting, double tap F8 to save and your settings are locked in. So once you've referenced the settings chart, you're also going to want to come down to your torch height controller and make sure the arc voltage and the torch height is correct. To adjust our arc voltage is as simple. We scroll this and we see it being adjusted on the screen. 110 is a pretty good baseline. And we're also going to want to adjust our IHS height with this knob. This adjusts the uptime of the motor in seconds. And we can test that by clicking it. And we can verify that we got good height above the workpiece to start an arc. Now that you got your settings dialed in, let's jump into the shapes library that's pre-installed on the plasma table. Once you're booted up, you'll arrive at the home menu here. To access the shapes library is simply you just hit F1 and here's your shapes library with over 50 pre-installed shapes. There's a lot of shapes in here that are great for starting out and just practicing, but there's also functional ones that can be used as brackets, tabs, and gussets. So we're going to select a circle to cut. To do this, we scroll over to our circle, we press F8, and now this opens up a dimension screen where we can input our lead in, lead out, which in our case we don't need to modify right now. And we can also determine our radius of the circle. 50 millimeters is good, that'll give us about a four inch circle. Now we can press F8 and it loads it into the cut menu. All right, so now we want our part in the bottom right hand corner of our sheet. But the problem is we're starting at the center point. This is easily shifted to our bottom right hand corner so we can get a good zero by pressing F3, part option, pressing F1, start point, and we can select F4, our right and bottom option. Now that's shifted our start point right there. Press F8 to confirm, F8 confirm again, and now we're ready. We got a perfect cut right in the corner of our sheet. So now we're gonna show demo mode. This runs the torch along the cutting path without actually cutting anything out, so you know it's exactly what you want. To do this is simple, you press space, F2 for demo mode, it'll run the torch along the cut path and then ask you to confirm if you wish to return. Press enter to confirm. Now we're ready to start a cut. To start the cut is simple, we're just going to hit start, then enter and the plasma table will take care of the rest. You'll notice for a couple seconds afterward, the air is going to keep flowing. This is just to keep the consumables cool. All right, so you cut this part out and you like it. Let's say you want to cut four of them. This is simply done in the machine with our nesting settings. Press F3, part option, F3 array. We're going to do a straight array. And this adjusts the amount of rows, amount of columns, the pattern offset. We recommend adjusting the offset up 10 millimeters to allow for adequate clearance between parts. We're going to press F8 to input that. It shows us a preview of what we got. We like the preview. Double tap F8 to confirm that. Now we're ready to get cutting these out. So now that you know the basics of cutting, just make sure to follow our YouTube channel. We're going to go into some more advanced cutting operations. For more information on the CNC plasma cutter, visit eastwood.com.